Matthew 2.10 Idantes de ton austera e carison caran megalein svadra Right before this, the Magi have seen the star go before them, lead them to where the, the Christ child was and stop over where he was. We read now, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with an exceedingly great joy. They rejoiced a great joy exceedingly. Um, so let's begin here at the beginning with Edantes. Maybe you recognize that as building on the second era stem of Adon, right? Adon means I saw. We take off the augment, take off the ending. We're left with the stem id. See the stem right there? Second aorist participles use present participle endings. So we have the present participle ending on test, but this is a second aorist stem. So what we have here is a second aorist active participle, and it's nominative masculine plural, referring to the wise men, to the magi. Notice there's no article in front of it, so it's probably adverbial. We try temporal, when they saw uh, the star. We can do the des and or now. Now, when they saw the star, and that does work. We realize that even when we're translating it temporally with when, there's a bit of a causal idea there. It's because they saw the star. They rejoiced. This word, ekarisan, you probably recognize that, is coming from the verb Cairo to rejoice. Now, I've intentionally written down here below the eris passive indicative paradigm, and we'll see why in a moment, but see eluthain, eluthes, eluthe, eluthemen, eluthet, eluthason. We can translate that. I was loosed, you were loosed, he was loosed, we were loosed, y'all were loosed, they were loosed. I'm translating that as passive. Some eris passive forms do not have a theta. but uh, So notice here we have an augment. We have the ason ending. We don't have a theta. Augment. A son ending. Yes, in form, what we have here is an aorist passive indicative third person plural. But it's not passive. They were rejoiced. It's a medial passive, right? It conveys a middle idea. Rejoicing emotional activities are very subject affected middle voice. So they rejoiced. Then notice we have a cognate accusative. We have an accusative that's building on the same root as the verb. They rejoiced a joy. Arguably, that's used to in express intensity. If there, there's no doubt here, though, though, because there's <laughs> there's a, a a further modifier. They rejoiced a great joy, and then we have this adverb thrown in for good measure. In case you missed it, they rejoiced a great joy exceedingly. Right? They and we might smooth it out in English. They rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. 